Okay guys, I'm back in Garna Speed Drifters. So in this video, we're going to review a boat. <laughs> this boat is actually from a uh, Moon Rotary Gacha I did last time, okay? But I didn't review it, so yeah, I'm reviewing it right now. This boat is called Immortal Pavilion. Every four times it enters drift, minibus max speed plus 8km per hour and minibus power plus 12% for 6 seconds. Alright. Modding for this car is left, 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 middle. Alright, let's test this uh, boat. Oh, in here it's white when you playing game. Are you serious? Okay. Normal speed 201.6. Double boost 246.8. CWW 310.8 WCW 292.7 Why does it look like that? Characteristic activate CW 317.2 Okay, characteristic activate is fast WCW 315.4 With a characteristic 322.6 Alright, not bad so what does it actually look like? Can't really see the full image here. Maybe it's a quality thing. Let me uh, increase the quality setting. Maybe it looks better because this is a low low visual quality. I think that's why. Okay, so I put it uh, middle. It should be a little better than that. Okay, now it's in color. Alright, that makes be better. So if you set low visual quality, you can't really see the full thing. Uh, the, the I thought it was a... Uh, oh, it's just a... It's like a dragon whisker. Something like that. I thought it was like a boat... Uh, what's it called? The sail thing. Okay, anyway, I think I'll just leave my visual at this setting. And uh, yeah, let's test this in rank. Oh, 295, Supreme Racing God. Uh, okay, let me just test the City Eleven first before we do that. <laughs> I guess Bunny is going for uh, Legendary. And I guess he needs help. Okay, so first we play the City Eleven. CT11 run, but uh, I believe Auspicious Kirin is better here, isn't it? Should be. Okay, let's try first game here. That was not a good start. The end tank is quite good, easy to get full.
Ooh, 159. Okay. Not bad. Easy control as well. Okay, let's see if we can get this to legendary. Oh, I realized the rank is resetting in two days. Huh. So next season starts this Thursday. Interesting. Alright then, uh, this might be a four player race. Eh? If there's no match, I will try team speed. Six and a half hours late. Yeah, looks like I might have to try team speed. I think people don't want to play four player duel. Because it's harder to win. <laughs> you have to get either first or second. So they rather play team speed instead. Maybe. Can I even find team speed or not? 12 seconds later. Alright, and we did find a match. Now. Uh, didn't ban in time. All the way to Ken. Is my CU on? Yes. Ah, to not enough time to switch pet lah. Uh, anyway, maybe just two rank games lah. <laughs> we'll just make this three, three, three games. This is the second game anyway. Hey. So far, easy to control, speed is fast, not bad, I got 120 with this, with a boat, <laughs> yeah, we are literally done, um, getting Bunny to legendary in this next, in this one game, <laughs> but we'll play one more game, eh? Alright, last game for this video. Ban this. Los Angeles, alright. We might lose this game. Oh, that was 127. Ah, I can't even reach that fast. Well, this is legendary level. 
Okay, I can conclude this right now. I just realized, was number one a hacker? Penguin pet eh? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> when I saw penguin pet, that, was, that looks sus. But yeah, yeah, it's a... On the level 12, there's no way it's a hacker. Okay. Anyway. Conclusion. This car performance is like... Better than most of the other Dazzling Treasure, Moon Rotary, uh, those kind of gacha A cars. This feels like, if I want to say tier 2 as well, uh, a very high top tier 2 maybe. <laughs> I If I remember correctly, uh, Sakura, Kagata Sakura uh, Elimination Mode, I have played this boat car in before and I think it's sorted tier 2 but all the other dazzling treasures are like in tier 3 I don't remember lah but I remember this was a not tier 1 right I don't think it's tier 1 but tier 2 yeah should be tier 2 performance is quite good characteristic looks simple but it's actually uh, not bad lah in mini boost buff lah plus 8 km per hour speed yeah, mini boost power also buff. It's that kind of gacha, the moon rotary and all that. So, if you're gachaing cars from moon rotary, I suggest uh, moon rotary or dazzling treasure or whatever. If you're getting the car only, just get the car only. Lah. Don't need to get the other stuff because the other stuff are more expensive. Unless you, unless you don't want the car and skip the car, get whatever you want uh, okay la. <laughs> but yeah usually for the moon rotary gachas and dazzling treasure gachas if you want to save try not to get everything okay getting everything will cost literally like tika might as well gacha tika instead right <laughs> so yeah for these kind of cars uh, you don't need to gacha la. it's not like a tier one like s iso or now, nowadays ISO is not doing the meta, now we got <laughs> other cars also. So yeah, these kind of cars you can just skip. Like, okay? Even though it's like, this car is better, this boat lah. Like, this boat is like better than all the other dazzling treasure and all stuff. It's still skippable, you don't really need these kinds of cars. Uh, yeah, just, just, just skip lah. Like, okay? Just skip, don't worry. You don't need, unless you're lucky and got this early, okay lah. Like, these cars are better than the other dazzling treasures. Better than speed pass as well, but not as good as the ISO, uh, Luna Shadow. Those are still better than all this. Uh, okay, right. That's it for Immortal Pavilion, the boat from Moon Rotary Gacha. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.